adding your research paper to your portfolio. Along the left hand side of your portfolio you will see one of your links that says a research paper. This is where you are going to add in your entire paper that you wrote. So if you again would click on the edit portion which is the pencil in the upper right hand corner you're going to be able to see that there is a series of boxes on here with some directions and the top two are more for, for you individually. For example, it says here, provide your thesis statement and a summary of your research. And then down here, it says embed your entire paper with the title page and the works cited. This paper will need to be uplaid, uploaded as a Google Doc. So we'll talk about how to do that portion of it. So we're going to start by uploading your paper into a Google Doc. What you're going to need to do is go back to uh, your Gmail so you can access your drive and some of you have used drive quite a bit so you'll know exactly where to go others of you maybe don't have anything in yours at all and so this is Google Drive it was formerly called Google Docs and has now been changed to Google Drive to upload a file you go to the left hand side there's an orange button that says upload and when you click on that you choose files from the drop down list and you will go and locate the final copy of your paper that you have. So I'm just going to choose a, a doc that I have here um, on my screen since I don't have an SCP paper to use. The majority of you used a LibreOffice program to do this so yours are ending in DOC as well. So then you're going to click open. Now for mine it automatically pops up to say upload settings and it's going to convert this into a Google Doc. It says it was a DOC and now it's going to be in a Google Doc. So all I have to do is hit the start upload. What I'd like you to pay attention to on yours is this box is the conversion on or off. If the conversion is off then it's not converting it into a Google Doc but leaving it as a DOC. And how you can tell that is when it gets over into your drive, if it has this blue box here with lines on it, that's a Google Doc. If it still has the W on it, then it's a DOC. And it just basically means that you can't embed it if it's a DOC. So how do you convert it? You can go to the settings and you can tell it to convert uploaded files to Google Docs format. And unfortunately it doesn't keep that. So if you wanted to ask that question like mine did that the box popped up, check this confirm settings before each upload and that way you can get the conversion on if you need it on and not have to go back and do it twice. All right. So those of you who ended up with an upload that was a DOC has a W in the front instead you're going to need to make sure that your conversion is on again by going to settings turn this on if you want to put a check mark here as well and then re-upload your um, document again so that when it comes up over here it is a Google Doc. Once the upload is complete this can be closed we don't need that anymore and you can keep your file here. Now this was also a way that I told you that you could back up files on your uh, Google Drive so we said several times back up your paper back up your paper this is a place that you can do that now if you have old versions of your paper now and you want to get rid of those um, you can simply click on the box in front of it and then there's a um, garbage can at the top where you can hit remove and you can delete any files that you don't want so we now have our paper into our Google Drive and now we want to put it back in our portfolio so I'm going to click back on my portfolio and I'm in the edit mode and I know I'm in edit mode because I can see these little boxes around here and I'm going to click down here where it says to embed my paper. I'm going to get rid of all this directions because I don't need those and we're going to go to insert and then from insert we're going to choose a document. Insert document. When I click on document it's going to show me every Google Doc that we have here. So if this was still a Word document, a DOC, it would not show up here. So I'm going to select this one since I have more than one. This box shows up. A couple things that you can do here. Um, first of all, if you've accidentally clicked the wrong file, you can change it right here. Do you want a border around it? 
totally your choice. Is this title okay, editing for SCP and that I, that I had it, or what did you title it? Maybe you need to clean that up a little bit. And again, I don't usually change the height much and the width I always leave blank because it says leave empty for 100% width and that means it's going to go as wide as your screen. So now when I hit save on this, this little box appears on my screen and at first people think, oh, it didn't work because they don't see the actual paper there. But we, what we have to do is save it, save the whole page, and then it will add your paper into this. And then people can just scroll through and look at your entire paper that you have. Now if for some reason something you chose you don't like it and you want to go back and, and change it a little bit, um, if I go back to edit my page, the paper is now this box again and if I click on it I get these little choices up here. The first one, this gear, also stands for properties. If I click on it, it goes right back to that box again so I can say, oh maybe I don't want the border on there or I wish I would have used a different title. That's how you can make those changes. In addition, these three stand for uh, align left, center, and right. Probably won't be a big deal since it's going full screen 100%. This is how you can use the wrap, what, meaning if you have text to go around it. And this is how you can take it off if you decided I put the wrong one in or you want to put it in a different place. You can hit remove and that will disappear. So that is how you import your or upload your paper into Google Drive and then insert it into your page so that people can see it right on your page. Now, just a safety net here for somebody who this maybe isn't working for you and um, maybe you were using pages and it won't upload and so you can't get it to embed. Another option for you, uh, maybe not the best option but something you can do you can go to create and again I'm back in my drive again I clicked over to drive go to create and create a new document and basically this will be a blank um, word processing document here copy your whole paper from where you did it in pages entire thing um, title page outline works cited the whole deal paste it into here then it will be a Google Doc and you can embed it just like we did the other one by going to insert. Um, change the title of it by simply clicking up here and when you click up here you can change the title of it. So that is another way to get around it if the um, uploading and converting isn't working that's another thing you can do.